And welcome to the strategy guide of King Party 3. Firstly, you have to slay its three defenders. Otherwise, you will face four powerful enemies that are all synergizing together. So now let's talk about this fight without defenders. King Pardis can inflict Dread, it prevents the use of TP. So you can prevent Dread with an accessory called Proof of Valor. You can find it inside the princess room. Also, the boss can drain your SP and prevents you to switch your party members. Also, the boss has good damage, so you cannot afford a weak party member. Get at least your party members to level 60 with an equipment of level 55. Its weaknesses will change after each break. First phase, sword, dagger, staff, ice, light. Second phase, spear, bow, tom, fire, light. Third phase, dagger, axe, fan, ice, light. Finally, at 25% HP, he will prepare a devastating attack so make sure to break him or you may lose party members after winning your first battle you will face its new form give it your all because Alaune will heal your party for the next fight. The boss deals more damage and has new abilities. He can inflict dread and bleeding. Also, he may reduce your speed. He can cast God Blow. God Blow can reduce your party member HP to 1. At 60%, the fight is getting harder. He will start to switch between two counters one physical attack and one magical attack. It is important that each member has one support or magical move. Otherwise, you may not survive the overall damage and give him shields. A party member without SP will most likely result in your game over. Also, you can pick low SP abilities because this may be a long fight. At 25% the fight will become hell. The boss gets the buff on its elemental attack. Also, you still need to be careful of its counters. So defeat him as fast as you can because you will not survive its powerful attacks. He may charge your powerful AoE, so you can prevent it by breaking him or killing it as fast as you can. About his weaknesses, he has four faces. First phase, sword, dagger, staff, ice, light. Second phase, spear, bow, bomb, fire, light. Third phase, dagger, axe, fan, ice, light. Fourth phase, dagger, bow, staff, lightning, light. Let's go to the last fight. Alaone will start by healing your party. Alaone helps so much that it balances the difficulty of the fight. About its weaknesses. Phase 1. Sword, dagger, staff, ice, light. Phase 2. Spear, bow, tom, fire, light. Phase 3. Axe, fan, ice, wind, light. Phase 4. Sword, bow, fire, lightning, light. Phase 5. Sword, dagger, staff, wind, light. Phase 6. Spear, bow, tom, fire, light. At 65%, the boss is invulnerable to any damage outside its weaknesses. It will counter any attack which is not targeting its weakness. At 40% he uses Bright Evil Eye. It applies a buff on the boss and applies a debuff on your front line. At 25% HP, Alaone will heal you and remove any debuff that you have. So make sure you get the Bright Evil Eye before putting the boss to 25%. Otherwise you will get the debuff for the rest of the fight. <laughs> At 10% the boss prepares Divine Impact. Divine Impact reduces your frontline HP to 1. So make sure that your paired party member outspeeds the boss. Or you can break the boss to cancel the attack. HP regen is also useful. And that's about it. I wish you luck in your fight.